Hey there, internet. So today I'm gonna to do a quick demo of the Swing database software that I've been working on. Uh, it, it coordinates high-speed video, it does computer vision, it does human pose estimation. Uh, it can do things like track the speed of my left wrist throughout the swing. There's a bunch of other stuff potentially you can do, such as track your, your hip angles and those sorts of things. Uh, my setup today, I've got Canova running. There's two high-speed cameras. There's one over here. There's one over here. They're 120 frames per second, global shutter cameras. Pretty good. They will be set up with Canova. Canova will synchronize and capture all the swing data. It'll write the video files to the disk. Then it'll trigger my software. My software will then go ahead and associate the data to a swing session. Uh, it will send the data to the AI to do human pose estimation, then that AI will send back a TRC file, which is motion capture data, uh, and I'm isolating my left wrist. And as soon as that's done, it'll go ahead and chart that up on the swing and map each one of those data points to the actual uh, current frame. So you can scroll through and you can see position by position by position, you can see exactly what's happening with your golf swing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a swing right now and then we'll walk you through the software on the, uh, the other machine. That was fat. So uh, the swing has been uh, captured by Canova and if it was on the right tab, I'll go ahead and switch that real quick. You'll see now it's displaying a, a, a loop of the synchronized swings. And over here on the left, we're processing the video stream now that's been sent back to Canova. And we have this blue chart right here. And if I pause the video and scroll back, we can see roughly where my peak left wrist speed happened, which really should be back here. So, uh, yeah, this is not a great swing. There's a bunch of stuff that's not great about this swing. But the great thing is that I have feedback. So now that I have feedback, I can do something a little different and hopefully hit a better shot. So again, I'm trying to get, one of the things I'm really working hard on is trying to get my release to happen here instead of like being like this with a whole bunch of handle drag. Uh, I want to have an efficient transfer to the golf ball. So that was better impact. See the smash factors 1.24 there, which is substantially better. 128 carry, 89 high, that's not Fantastic, but it's decent. The launch angle is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and process the kinematics and then we'll take a look. And it looks like not a whole lot better on the transfer. That sounded better. 32, that was really high. 101 high. Inside out, not great, but the little close. Club face brought that back online. This is a little earlier, but still hanging on to that club. The nice thing is I can go back and look at other swings. If I want to look at three swings ago, I can pull it up. If I want to look at a query, I can say, give me these launch conditions. Let's say, you know, I want my swing path between, you know, plus three and minus three. I want my attack angle less than four. You know, give me the five best shot that, shots that meet those criteria or give me the, any of the shots that meet that criteria. Then I have the video to go with that. And then I also have the, kin the kinematics of my, what my actual body's doing. I can also potentially scrape the screen and get all the launch monitor data and save that and associate that. So I can go back and see how I'm progressing. Let's, let's say I don't like that 32 degree launch angle for my pitching wedge. I, I might want to get that down to 26 degrees. So, you know, I can go back and see, okay, so what am I doing when I, I have certain launch conditions, right? What Give me some swings from the database where I'm, you know, between 25 and 27 degrees and then compare that to other swings. And then I can compare the kinematics as well. So it's a kind of an interesting uh, application of computer vision. And I think it, it because it's, it's, it's fairly quick, it's happening pretty quickly. You can get feedback on just about every swing and you don't have to walk over to the computer. You don't have to mess with anything. It's all kind of automated for you. You know, if I get a hundred likes on this video, 
I'll probably put a bunch of effort into this. If nobody watches the video, then I might, <laughs> I might abandon the project or I might just keep it for myself. Um, so, you know, if, you, if, if this is something that you could use in your simulator, let me know. If, uh, if you have a, uh, an idea for a better name, Swing Buddy is just the first thing that popped into my head. I was thinking Canova Swing Buddy or Canova Buddy or something along those lines since that's what it's intended to be paired with. So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoy, enjoyed the little demo today. Uh, it's a work in progress. I still have a lot of things that I want to implement. Um, there's a lot of potential here and there's a, you know, unlocking the data from your launch monitor getting it into a database that you can actually use, I think is, is potentially super valuable when you combine it with the kinematics and some of the other stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.